All right, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Empowerment Firm, um, the Veteran Business Spotlight. Um, we're going to get right into it. Actually, we'll wait a few more minutes until some people start entering the live. Um, you got the amazing Coach Mel here. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, we can't wait to get into this. <laughs> yes, this is going to be fun. <laughs> How's your day? Pretty going so far. Well, really well. I'm trying. I'm going to share the broadcast also. Okay. One moment. So yeah, my day was pretty good. I, I, I you know, it was very productive. Mm -hmm. Which know. you know that that's always my prayers that my day is positive and productive and exactly. it was both it really really was it was really exciting just to um be able to finish up my coursework and to uh finally say hey i am a clinically certified sexologist thank you lord Yay! 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 <laughs> so um you know i i jokingly say i i, I feel like i've literally given birth because <laughs> i've had the pains to you know, trying to finish this work, you know, that I really feel the Lord is a Lord has called me to do. Yeah. Um, and so I'm really excited about, you know, about where the future holds and how I can yeah. serve uh, veteran women um, and civilian women in the community. Awesome. 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 Yeah. 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 All right. Well, we're just chatting a little bit, waiting for people to join. Everybody's coming in. Um, you will see the link to um, Love Matters Consulting in the chat and also the link to an event that Coach Mel will have coming up. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but I just wanted you to know and uh, look for that in the chat. I, yeah. I think I, I have a star. I think that means it's pinned. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Facebook. Let us be great, please. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be good i'm gonna be good i promise we're gonna be good tonight but we got some good information this is stuff yeah is needed in so many different ways mm -hmm. and I, I will as i was going over your website and i know some of the other things that you do it, it's just so many avenues that this is needed um and we'll get into it because we're just going to make this uh, conversation as i said organic we don't yep. want to too stuffy and just too rigid about questioning, but we wanted to be organic so we can, you know, make it comfortable and get the most out of it. That's so we're right. going to start off. So I want you to introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's a load of question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I am Marilyn Dalton, aka Coach Mal. I am also a proud Air Force veteran who served our country for five years with the 86th Medical Group. Um, and so I jokingly say I was in the chair force. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I am also the proud owner, CEO of Love Matters Relationship and Intimacy Coaching, um, where we serve women veterans um, and civilian vet veterans, uh, women veterans and civilian women um, to help them and to actually empower them to, to, um, own their sensuality mm -hmm. and their sexuality um, and just help them to have better relationships with themselves as well as their partners um, mm -hmm. if they have partners. So that's me, Coach Ma'am. Awesome. Mm -hmm. We want to get a little bit deeper into your company, Love Matters. Tell us a little bit more about that in detail. Yes. Well, um, Love Matters really came from a place where I wanted to just show women how to first and foremost love themselves mm. and to just show them how important it is to um to always put themselves first you mm. know i think as as wives and mothers and friends we are natural nurturers and we spend so much time taking care of everybody else and oftentimes we are um we don't have anything else anything else left to give right um, and so, you know, I, I'm, I, and it really came from where, where a place where I was, where I was that woman that had, and I still am where I give, 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 give yeah. until I don't have anything else to give. Yeah. Um, and so I really wanted to, um, 
serve women who um, had given everything and didn't have anything left. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually joined a, a network marketing company called Bedroom Candy. And um, we would, it's a, it, it is a, um, what's the word? A um, health and wellness company. Mm -hmm. um, and what we would do is we would have fun. We I would kind of um, talk about intimacy in mm -hmm. a fun way and just kind of um, encourage women to, um, to reclaim their sensuality and their sexuality um, in a fun way. And all, I would hear so many times, so many stories about how um, women just weren't happy, mm -hmm. you know, um, and didn't have the confidence, you know, and then also some of them, a lot of them, you know, um, some of them didn't know their bodies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so it, that was kind of how it, how it came about. I wanted to, I didn't want another woman to be, um, like I was in where I was in a relationship and I wasn't happy, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how, I didn't have the tools to empower myself to, to, to find my voice. Right. Right. And so that was kind of how it came about. And, and so I, I jokingly say, I get paid to party. <laughs> <laughs> That's always fun. <laughs> yeah, fun <right? laughs> so what are your areas of expertise and why did you choose them? So my two areas of expertise are actually um, postpartum mommies, new moms, and then also pre and postmenopausal women. Mm -hmm. And 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 the reason why I chose those two groups is because I feel like when you are a new mommy, it's hard to to um, find that part of yourself or just carve out that to really switch your brain from being a mom to a wife, to, a, to just you, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and it's so hard because you have so many hats, especially if you have a new baby and mm -hmm. you're trying to get, you, get used to being a mom. And then you have your spouse that may want attention from you. And then you may have other children in the home that mm -hmm. also are pulling on you. And then again, you are, you, you, you end up depleting right. everything. And so I was that mom mm -hmm. and um, I remember how that felt. And so I want, I don't want another mom to go through that. Yeah. I want to be able to empower her to find her voice and, and be okay. Letting, letting the family help take care of that newborn. Mm -hmm. Be okay uh, yes. asking questions about, Hey, um, I don't feel, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling myself. Right. I'm not in the mood to be, be intimate with my partner. Right. You know, and, and have that voice and be comfortable to, to us, uh, I, I guess the best way to put it is I want to create a safe space mm -hmm. for women to have those conversations. Yes, and it's needed. It's so needed. I mean, thinking about this, I was talking about my sister. She mm -hmm. uh, her medical field, but she's in a totally different um, field. But she, we were talking about how I don't know if it's just in general or in the black community. Hey, baby, that, my husband just came came home, y'all. <laughs> Hey, Mel's husband. Hey, she comes say hi. Shabana says, "Oh, girl, he brought ice cream." Oh, Lord, y'all. Oh, Shabana, no, I'm just playing. Hey, Mel's husband. Baby, get over you not in the camera. Come over this way. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so you got that beautiful oh, woman girl. over here. <laughs> Are you happy at home? Are you yeah. happy? Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. I met it. Yeah. Right on time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love you. Yeah, we um we have this thing where we we try to have dinner together at seven, and I had I had been not so nice because someone couldn't make it home. So <laughs> praise Jesus, and he brought ice cream, y'all. Yeah, Woo, it's the little things that matter. <laughs> but hey, yeah, and, but I yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Shimada. You was talking about your sister. Okay, going back to our conversation, like I said, I don't know if it is the um, dynamic of our generation and older or mm -hmm. the dynamic within the Black community, but we just don't talk about sex. We do. No, we don't. 
uh, and then the, this younger generation, they don't care. They they just they have it. Yeah. And exactly. I was trying to admire that to a certain extent because mm-hmm. me in my 40s, it's like it was, it's always been a taboo subject. So I'm now in my 40s being able to be comfortable enough to communicate about sex. And exactly. I thought, I wish I would have had those convers or been able to have those conversations earlier in life. Um, and to to like you said, embody and and know about your body and and appreciate it and explore. We didn't have we that's not a conversation that was at all. No ma'am. At that's all. Not, mm, mm, they didn't mm. want to. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't ask. That, exactly. And you know, and I and I and I tell my clients, I say, you know. I'm the kind of coach that I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to share with you what your, what sex ed didn't teach you and mama didn't tell you. Right. Right. Because in our, especially in the black community, we are always told to abstain until marriage. Right. Mm -hmm. But nobody ever tells you what to do when you get married. Oh yeah. Well, Coach Mal is here. (laughs) (laughs) And it's that, like I said, those are conversations that are needed um, because going back to just being raised in a Christian environment, you don't know what you don't know. And like I say, it, it, and everything is like, no, 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 no. And then people get married and then it don't last because you don't even know what to do. <laughs> you don't know what to do. Yeah. You don't know what to do. And then again, with pre, with uh prenatal pre postpartum women, or women that just had babies, mm-hmm. they are going through all kinds of emotional changes, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And they haven't really had been given the skills, A, to raise a baby, mm-hmm. B, to be a wife, right? Right, right. And, and so, you know, and then on top of that, they've, they've got this new new life that they're responsible for. And Lord, you know, and, and they have a husband or a partner and they're trying to fix you know, and their body is changing. And they're like, oh, mm-hmm. they don't know what to, what's going on, you know? Right. And so my thing is I want to be able to, to help them to navigate that, right. whatever that, and create a plan that of success for them that you, and right. let them understand that, you know, that intimacy is an important part of a relationship. Right. And, and intimacy, not just with a partner, but with yourself, right. just, you know, and, and sensuality and being able to, to have, to show self-love to self-love to yourself. Right. It's also important. And then I think about my second group of women are are, are women of a certain age <laughs> that may or may not be going, may be in pre or post men, menopause. Mm-hmm. And so there's changes that go with going through the changes with that as well. Some yeah. else that mama didn't tell us about. Right, right. You know, and so when you're going through the change of life, as they call it, mm-hmm. And you again have all of these lack of hormones because remember when you when you just have a baby you have your body is flooded with hormones. Well, when you stop having babies and start ha- stop having a cycle, your hormone level decreases. Right, right. And you're going through mood swings, temperature fluctuations, you know, stress, excess weight, mm. all of those things, you know. And again, you're still expected to be a wife, a mother a friend, a this, a that, a that, you know, all of these, right. uh, these hats that we've worn all these years. Right. And my thing is I want to be able to serve these women to help them to understand that it's okay. Yeah. I've been where you are. I'm where you are now. Right. Um, I'm not perfect. I struggle as well, mm-hmm. but I think it takes a village mm-hmm. and we have to all um, and and my thing is, I kind of kind of think of myself as a modern day Harriet Tubman, if you will. <laughs> you know, that's not a stretch, but you know what I'm saying. And just just grab my sister by by the hand and say, "Come on, sis, I got you." Right. And sometimes I think that just make that just makes it a lot easier to mm-hmm. to deal with what they're going through to understand that that they're not alone. You right. Know? Um, I can remember I had a miscarriage, and I felt so alone. I felt like what something was wrong with me mm. was it but it wasn't until i shared with 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 other women what had happened it actually was a a, a girl from church she had had a miscarriage as well several oh, and she shared with me that you know what marilyn there's nothing wrong with you you know um these things happen and look at it as you have an angel already in heaven waiting for you yeah right and and so you know and and if it had not been for her i would have been beating myself up about that right again she took me by the hand and said hey you it's okay sis i got you and 
And so that's kind of my, my motto now is, hey, sis, I got you. Oh I got gosh, you. That's awesome. Yep. Okay. So, you know, on my platform, we, um, we focus on military service women and veterans. Mm -hmm. Demographic that, um, that uh, actually, is this a demographic that you serve often? Oh, yeah. So what are the different approaches that you take with these ladies? Well, with this, with these ladies, yes, I do ser service uh, veteran women mm -hmm. and uh, spouses of veterans. Mm -hmm. um, and for th for that niche, um, because I am because actually I've worn both hats. Mm -hmm. I, I am a veteran and I've been a spouse of a veteran. Okay. Um, and so for the, for those women, I really want to um, do a, a, a deeper intake with them because sometimes they may have some trauma that they mm -hmm. may have of endured while in the military. Right. Um, and then there may be some PTSD associated with that. Right. And so with those particular clients, I would enlist, um, I would kind of collaborate with our, with the licensed counselor mm -hmm. um, to help, to help her to work through the, the, the uh, clinical part of her diagnosis. Okay. And then I work with her on the relationship part of her diagnosis if that makes sense yeah that's yeah that's awesome mm -hmm. so you create a plan that's, that's exactly awesome. and you collaborate i mean yeah. you know i think collaboration is really the way to go yeah, so definitely. because i don't know everything and mm -hmm. i and i would never pretend to know everything but you know i believe that you you know the lord puts people in your in your circle for a reason and for a season most right. definitely, most definitely. So, yeah. Love that. So mm -hmm. you guys, ladies out there that are listening, like I said earlier, if you want to get a hold of Coach Mel, the information is in the chat at the top. It should be pinned. Um, so going on um, as an intimacy, intimacy and relationship coach, what is your definition of sensuality and intimacy? Oh my goodness. Sensual intimacy. Let's start with intimacy. Mm -hmm. Intimacy is allowing yourself to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. and and to and and but with that it becomes it, with someone you trust, right? Mm -hmm. And then um and then it it really sensuality and intimacy go hand in hand because again you are allowing yourself to be vulnerable with this person you care about, and you um are. I, I really think it improves the sexual part of the relationship um, because you're, you are actually able to find comfort in that person. Yeah. And then, um, and then for sensuality, you really find pleasure in the ability to be able to, to um, compliment each other mm -hmm. and really act upon those senses, uh -huh. uh, the sense of sight, uh, smell, mm -hmm. uh, taste, touch, and yeah. hearing. I think, you know, when it comes to being intimate with your partner, you have to encompass all of those things to make it a meaningful experience for both of you guys. I want to do a, uh, it's not on here, but I don't, I've been seeing, and I, I, I sadly, I'm not in this dating world, <laughs> and I'm not, but I've been seeing that I, since I'm in my forties, mm -hmm. uh, there has been a, a, it seems like more people that don't even want the intimacy portion of this anymore. It's mm -hmm. in a relationship, even in a relationship, yeah. even getting to that relationship is like they don't want that intimacy. They don't want that community. They don't even like. Usually, I think what we call it, especially you know, especially growing up with the church, you call it courting because you're getting. Yep. Person. Exact. Nobody wants to court anymore. They, just want, to hit it. they want to hear it and quit it. Right. So it's, it's, you're you miss out on. I think in that courting process, as you say, you're getting to know that person mm -hmm. and, and you're you're uh, uh, developing those bonds. Exactly. But it seems like a lot more nowadays. People have taken that totally out. So you you don't have true meaningful anything anymore. Yep. Is that something you're seeing or no? Um, yes, yes, I do see that a lot. And what I encourage my single clients to do is date a person for four seasons, four, okay. let me put four, <laughs> four, four seasons. And the reason why I say that is because if you, in four seasons, you should be able to get to know a person pretty well in that time frame. Um, Steve Harvey has a really great book, mm -hmm. um, 
that he, that he wrote the 90 day rule. Mm -hmm. And I think that all single people should read that book because I think uh, when it comes to intimacy without, and I'm not, it's not even intimacy because intimacy uh, is, is you and uh, you are allowing yourself to be vulnerable and you're mm -hmm. actually building trust. Yeah. If you're not able to be intimate with somebody. And I'm not just talking about uh, penetration. I'm talking about spirit. I'm talking about, um, Emotion. relational intimacy, spiritual yes. intimacy. Mm -hmm. um, if a person won't be intimate with you pre-bed time, you yes. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. then you might want to let them let them be great with somebody else. Right. <laughs> right. Right. No, you know, no, that'd be great over there. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that'd be great over there. But no, not over here. Not over here. Not over here. <laughs> not over here. Not over here. Because, um, because, uh, because, and here's the thing why, here's the reason why. I really believe that intimacy for a woman is a, an emotional connection, mm, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And for a man, most times it's a physical release. Mm, yeah. There's no emotion tied to it. Now yeah. I could be wrong. I ain't no man, but I've <laughs> lived, I've been around the block a, little, a couple of times, just saying, <laughs> but, and for, and, and for women, um, and, and part of that is just our makeup. And then also there are certain hormones that are released mm -hmm. when we are intimate with a part, with a person. Right. And again, for 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 a woman, it's an emotional connection. Yeah. And. um, And for a man, it's not it's, it's, it's a physical release. I mean, I think when they if a if a man cares about a woman, it can can become yeah. an emotional connection. Um, But more times than not, a woman will catch feelings quicker. Yeah. Especially if it's especially if it's enjoyable and she enjoys that person's company his yeah. conversation and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Um and I think I I think a, I think the reason why we don't see a lot of the intimacy as as you will is because there's a lot of broken people. Yes. There's yeah. a lot of broken people especially yeah. in in our age. I'm I'm fear I'm getting ready to be 50 in November the Lord say the same. So like in in our age group there's a lot of broken people and they haven't healed. Right. And so Remember, I talked about intimacy being able to trust. Well, if they haven't healed, they aren't going to be able to trust. So true. That makes so much sense. Right? True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just it, it like I'm in I'm 43 right now. And I, it's so funny because in my head, because I always think about um, growing up and in my head, the, the steps that I thought it's like, you know, you, you graduate high school, you go to college. college. Mm -hmm. you know, I went to the military for a little bit and then got mm -hmm. out, oh, went to college, and then you find something, you get married, you have some babies, and mm -hmm. after you have a child. It, I don't, when I, first of all, I don't like dating. But <laughs> I know because you get you get Joker's representative now, child. You don't, you gotta, you, you yes. gotta do a check. Oh my god, down check. A uh, AIDS oh. test, a COVID test. Now <laughs> you you got the vet jokers out, honey, because you, you don't know what you're <laughs> uh -huh, Then you got to make sure they ain't got a whole another family in another world somewhere. Right. It's it's like I never liked it. I know it's not. It's the crazy. World, it's yeah. like I I keep I told somebody I was like I would really rather be single. Then and, and and be content with that than to make room for the foolishness I see. Yeah, the book because I'm not gonna be out of girl. A foolery is what it is. It is, <laughs> and I know. Th and I'm gonna say this because you know, guys get they they get sensitive. There are some good men out there. I absolutely, totally know there's some good men out there. I just don't know where y'all hiding. I, I know y'all need to come out of hiding. I tell you, you know, and I think sometimes as women we get caught up in appearances. Yeah. And so um, I always say, you know, because I remember my girlfriends would always say they would look at the guy's uh, watch and his shoes uh, yeah. to see. And, yeah. and, you know, and he could have a nice watch and shoes and then with his mama. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. But I was all about character. Like, I yep. Character. And conversation too, character that's and conversation. What, and that's what I am. Like I'm the type I need that. That's uh, yeah, I me think. too. I need that that dialogue. I need that. I I need it to not be at a surface level. Mm -hmm. I don't need it to be frivolous. Like we can have fun and clown and you know have fun together. 
but I really want to know that we can talk about anything. Like mm -hmm. I needed to go past a surface level. Mm -hmm. Where's your intellect? Are, are you um, mentally mature enough to uh, dialogue with me, converse with me mm -hmm. and not be petty? Like, can we just, I, I love simulating conversation. That's yes. what gets me. Yes. I, it really does. That's what gets me. Gets me. So, and I think, you know what, and I think it's really important too, that when you are dating, that you, that your partner knows your love language. Right. Yes. You know? I mean, intelligence, intelligence is so sexy. Yes. So and, yeah, I mean, I I can remember when I back when I would date back when I would date no 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 no. Let me stop. No, I even. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember dating this guy, and he was so handsome. Girl, was fine, but he was dumb as a box of rocks. Right. Oh my god. See, that turns me off all the yes. time. Yes, it I'm turns me like, off all the time. Like, if I have to pull a conversation yeah. out. And, and the only thing you usually got for me is, oh, you look good. You got pretty lips. You got yeah. Well, I can look at myself in the freaking mirror and be like, girl, you look I know good. my lips are pretty. You don't need to tell me that, <laughs> right? So I, I just, I crave that. I crave like that mature conversation. I pray, crave the true intimacy, like being vulnerable and seeing where what and you him being vulnerable doing. as well. Yes. You know it, but it's it, usually it's, women usually women, we're quicker to, we're quicker to yeah. be and and that's that's our that's to our our detriment sometimes mm -hmm. because um a guy that doesn't mean you any good can see that and then mm -hmm. you know we are already caught up <laughs> and he's on you know on to somebody else right you know? mm -hmm. um but yeah i mean and i think i just wish and i think i think there's a lot of broken broken people broken men out here um and they don't want to be vulnerable because they were vulnerable, especially yeah. those ones that are that are in the 40, 40s to 60s. They've mm -hmm. are, they've been married. They, they've had the house. They've mm -hmm. had the car. They've had all of the things. Right. And for whatever reason, that didn't work. Mm -hmm. And so they don't want to try. And it's yeah. it's really, really sad. It really, really is. It's sad. Mm -hmm. It is really sad. Okay, Lynn, what's the next question? What are um, the three general questions that you get asked and the answers you usually give? <laughs> oh, boy. Um, hmm. Well, one of the questions that I get, uh, it's so funny because I will post things on pay, on my, face, in my pay, Facebook group and what have you. Won't get a like, a <laughs> comment, or nothing. Just, just silence <laughs> yeah but the minute somebody see me oh girl hey, hey come here let me out like, <laughs> and i'm like oh me <laughs> <laughs> and so i go over there and oh girl i saw your post oh girl i got a question da -da 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 -da. but the and it just it just frustrates me because people are there's such a secrecy surrounding intimacy mm -hmm. Or just sex, and mm -hmm. it really shouldn't be. No, it really shouldn't be. Um, but the question that the three questions I get the most is low libid, low libido. What uh, do I do about it? Right. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, my part, my male partner has uh, erectile dysfunction or ED. Mm -hmm. What can I do? Okay. And then um, the third one is a mommy who's just had a baby and partners want to be intimate and she's just not there yet. How do I, how do I get her? How, what should she do? So for the first question, what I always will talk with my ladies about low libido is um, seeing their physician first and foremost, because I'm not a medical doctor. Yeah. Okay. And then the other thing I would encourage her to do is write down some things that she'd like about herself. Yeah. And think about some things that makes her feel good mm -hmm. and makes her get in the mood mentally. Because for most women, intimacy for us begins in the brain. Right. And so we have to begin to feel sensual and 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 sexy mm -hmm. before we can ever get to that point, that physical part. And right. so I encourage my ladies to, girl, put on your favorite lipstick that make that you love. Right. You know, get your hair done. Put on some perfume that make you feel good. Do something to make you feel good. Take that hot bubble bath. Shave your legs. Do, per, do your personal hygiene. 
you know, mm-hmm. do something that makes you feel good first. Right. Right. And then also have an open conversation with your partner about about what you want when it comes to intimacy. Mm-hmm. And don't have it in the bed. Have it outside of the bed bedroom. So why did you say that? And the reason why I say because because it's neutral on neutral grounds. Uh, okay. If you're having it at dinner, well, not even at dinner, but on the couch, just casual conversation. Mm-hmm. That way, your partner isn't going to be guarded or feel like you're judging them. Okay, that makes right. Sense. And okay. just make it a conversation. And um, and I say that the same thing with uh with when the, with the partner that has ED or erectile dysfunction. Mm-hmm. Again, I encourage them to go see their physician because it could be a medical condition or a mental condition. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And so they need to see their physician. And then once they get the get the OK from their physician, then that's where they can come back to me and I can deal with the mental the mental, and helping them to get helping helping them to get through that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then same thing with the new mom. Is it a is it a mental or a medical condition? Oh, See wow. your physician. Yeah. And once you get a go, once you get the the okay from the physician, then come back and see Coach Mal, yeah. and let's figure out how what kind of plan can we put in place to help you to be able to to um, get back to intimacy with your partner. So, awesome. That's yeah. so good. Mm-hmm. So now we're talking about intimacy and sexuality. <laughs> I know you got this event coming up. Oh yes, yes. This <laughs> cooking with Coach Mel. <laughs> Tell us about it. Oh my goodness. Well, th- I am so excited about this. This is our second cooking workshop. Okay. We yes, it's called Cooking with Coach Mel, and it is actually a cooking workshop where we will use aphrodisiacs to uh spice things up and and what we're and yeah and i mean yeah but and my thing is you don't need to be booed up to participate okay so you can come on if you're single <laughs> um, and so girl we are going to the islands this time mom we're going to the islands baby <laughs> yes and so what we're going to do is we're going to make some spicy jamaican jerk chicken Ooh, that sounds Call and come to me, mom. Hey, yeah. <laughs> right? And we're going to make mango salsa. Ooh, yes, and indoor s'mores for adults. Oh, okay. yes. And we are doing a promo. We're doing a special um, where the tickets are only eight dollars. Oh, and awesome. that'll what that will get you is admission to Ma- Coach Mass Zoom Zoom room. Ooh. Everybody can't get in there. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and uh an ebook copy of the recipes with the ingredients so you can do your shopping. Okay. Right. And then you will also enter into a raffle to have a a discovery call and a quickie with oh. Coach Mal. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. So everybody again at the top of the chats, you will see that I post the link to the uh, e- uh what is it? The workshop. The workshop. Where is that? At? It is Eventbrite. That's why I was missing mm-hmm. one. Eventbrite. Yeah, Eventbrite. So yeah. there, if you <laughs> want to um, purchase the tickets for that, go to that link to Eventbrite yep. and get those tickets because that sounds like a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, it was so much fun. We had we had nine participants last time, and we did a pre Valentine's Day cooking. Oh. And and it was it was so nice. I felt like er, I, we were, we did it on video conference just like this. Yeah, and we were all cooking together. Oh, fun! And so once we got done, we all sat down and was eating our food and talking, and we played some games. It felt like we were all in the same room together. Oh, awesome. awesome! And one of the participants, she said that um, she she said she was so grateful to me doing it because she felt. A stronger connection with her with her husband. Oh, love yeah, that. yeah. She okay. said she really and 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 everybody that took the took the workshop uh, begged me to do another one because oh. they had so much fun and and they were and they were connected with their partners and the food was delicious. Really? Yes. Last time. Yes, we made honey glazed salmon. Oh. 
That sounds delicious. Creamy pasta with asparagus. Ooh, I ain't ooh. never ate no damn asparagus. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, I have never eaten asparagus. <laughs> but it was delicious. <laughs> but my favorite. We what? had dessert, y'all. You know, we got. I love. I got a sweet dessert. We gotta have. We gotta have some. Aphrodisiacs. You gotta have dessert, right? <laughs> so, girl, we had strawberry empanadas. Oh, baby, Woo! girl, Ooh. they yeah. were so good. <laughs> and That's we and the strawberry was made with brown sugar and crescent rolls. Ooh. And the thing I loved about it was watching the couples working together. Oh, lovely. And, and, and yeah, and watching the couples. Hey, babe, can you bring me this? Hey, babe, can you oh. bring me that? Hey, you know, and then our singles. Hey, what you doing? Okay. And it was really, <laughs> it, was, it was, girl, I felt like I had a dinner party in my house. I oh, love it. It was so much fun. I just said her and her husband loved it. So thank <laughs> oh, you. great. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And so I'm so excited. It's going to be on the 26th of okay. March. Uh, that's a Saturday at 7 p.m. Okay, awesome. Yep. Um, and so if you want your tickets, please click on the link and grab your tickets. And then I uh, will send you an email with the, with your with everything you need to get started. But you don't want to miss it. Don't want to miss it. everybody get their tickets. Yeah, I guess I can be. But, you know, I got to I got to tweak it because I um. I'm vegetarian slash vegan, so I'm one yes. Well, you you can, girl. Just come on. You can make <laughs> you can tweak it. You yeah. You don't have yeah. And I mean, you know, for if people have certain dietary restrictions, please, please, by all means, tweak it to to your your liking. Yeah. But just come on, come on, mom, come on, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come on, put on something cute because we going to the islands. I'm gonna have some reggae going in the background. Yeah, you know. That. Um, so I figured we could go, we could go on vacation together virtually. Yeah, virtual vacation. Yeah. I love yeah. that. So yeah, Ms. so Coach May I gonna put a flower in her hair, you so know, cute. and put on her <laughs> cute little sundress, you know, <laughs> and just come. I'm excited. Yes. Yeah. So March 26th, 7 o'clock. That's a Saturday. You got to get your tickets. Eventbrite. Yep. So get it. it the, mm -hmm. again, the link is in the top of the chat. Go up there, click it, and get your tickets. Okay, in closing, what tips could you give us for keeping our relationship fun and sensual? I, the first tip I would say is open communication. Mm -hmm. Commun communication is key. Yes. It, it really, really is. And I think it's also important to date mm -hmm. each other. I'll court each other. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, because it's it's so easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life and bills and those things. But mm -hmm. you all but those kids are gonna grow up. <laughs> the house gonna be too big for y'all. Yeah. And you don't want to you don't want to look up one day and, and be like, you don't know your partner. Right. Right. You know, um, and then for our for our uh, solo people, solo partners, solo people, solo friends, mm -hmm. I would encourage you to get to know you. Yeah. Remember what you what you love about you. Yeah. And always and always never settle. Right. Never settle. Right. Exactly. You know, never, ne never settle, settle, and don't let your singleness stop you from being great. Yeah, awesome, right? <laughs> let it, girl. So go take that trip. Go take that class. Exactly. Open that business. Buy that dress, ma'am. Do all of the things. Right, right, right. You know? Exactly, exactly. Because because your blessing will make room for you. Yes, it will. So yeah. Awesome. This has been amazing. Yes, I enjoyed it. I just tell us how to reach you. Tell us how you want to be reached. Um, any of the channels. I did put your um the link to uh uh what is it, Love Matters Consulting in the chat as well. Is that the uh -huh. top? Um, and it probably has all your information, but I'll let you tell us yes. what else well, you well, yes, you can reach me at lovemattersconsulting.com, also uh on Facebook at Love Matters. Uh, consulting on Facebook and then on Instagram as well. Um, if you just want to talk to me, you can call me too. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can call me. My number, my uh, Google line is 
766-4377. So um, please feel free to give me a call. Um, let me know how I can serve you. I'm here to help. Um, just let me know how I can serve you. Say your number one more time and put it in the chat. Yes, it's 512-766-4377. I'm sorry, I spoke too fast. Okay. And yep, and feel free to text that number. That's my Google line. Okay. Yeah. Well, with that, this has been amazing. Thank you yeah. for your time. And Thank you for the opportunity, girl. This was so much fun. It was fun. <laughs> and we will get together soon. Again, everybody get them tickets. I'm going to be on there. I'm going to look, I'm going to feel like I'm going to put on something. Girl, throw on, throw on that dress, girl. You, I know you got something. Throw it on. Come on. I'm going to pull out something. <laughs> <laughs> yes honey we are gonna have a good time you know because i think during this pandemic mm -hmm. um people needed to need to be need to be connected yeah they do they yeah. they really really do and and for me i you know it's been a challenge for me but the lord has really shown me how to pivot mm -hmm. if you will mm -hmm. and and so i want to help others pivot right exactly Exactly. But this has been wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for everybody for joining and we'll catch you on the next live. Awesome. Bye. Bye. <laughs>